honey all right let me check your heart because something is not right something is not right something ain't right oh wow <laughs> i didn't know this was a thing I guess I am a heartbreaker. <laughs> I guess I am a heartbreaker. Cause obviously I broke yours. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lexa Marie with another video. I know that a lot of you have been waiting to see these type of videos and today is the day. Today is the day that you are going to hear my nursing school journey, okay? And everything that you need to know as a nursing student. You know, I have my little stethoscope here, got my hair looking all good, my watch. You know with the second hand i got everything everything so today we are going to be talking about five things that i wish someone told me about before i started nursing school and i'm literally making this video on day i want to say day six or day seven of nursing school this is week two day seven you guys i came up with this list so quick because there's so many things that i wish that i knew before starting my program so that is what i'm going to talk about today but before i get into this video make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel if you do want to see more nursing content like this make sure that you tell me in the comment section down below but after that let's get started so I'm just going to give you like a quick 30 second intro about me and my nursing program. So I already did my prerequisites for my nursing program. I do go to Towson University. I am currently on their BSN track. So I have been at um, Towson since freshman year. I did my prereqs here, applied, got in first try. And yeah, now I am J1. As you guys might know what that is, junior, first, um, first year, junior in the program. And I'm fall 2020, so I should graduate May, uh, class of 2022, with my BSN RN. But yeah, I am going to school to be a registered nurse. However, I think I am going to go further in my career and try to be a nurse practitioner. But yeah, that's just a little uh, general summary of everything involving myself. But now let's get into the things I wish I knew before starting this program. So the very first thing that I wish I knew before starting was the money. Did I say it? Did I, did I say it for the people in the back? The money. The money, 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 the money. Cash rules, everything around me. Cream, get the money. Like, it's that type of, when I'm telling you, what they require is so necessary yet so expensive it's ridiculous so just be mindful that you're going to drop over a thousand dollars okay as a junior as a junior before you even get a grade you have to drop a thousand dollars for your program and when i'm talking about a thousand dollars i'm only talking about books i'm not even talking about your cpr training your urine test your drug test all that you have to pay for that yourself, but just books alone is over a thousand dollars. So I would make sure that you save up your money the summer before or the year before. Unfortunately, there was COVID, so I couldn't really work like that. However, I was able to, you know, get my family to help me out, but it hurt my pockets still. It still hurts my pockets to this day. I'm still ordering stuff to this day for my school. So if you are, about to start your program, make sure that you do set aside at least a thousand dollars, okay? At minimum, a thousand dollars just for your program, just so that you can have everything you need before you do start your classes and that you're not underprepared or you're missing material because those books that they say are required are required for a reason, okay? And you need that material that is in those books. Just trust me. So that's everything in terms of money. Um, you're also going to need, like I said, I touched on briefly, money for like your prereqs, 
for your program. So not the classes that you took to get into the program, but the things that you need, like your titers, um, your CPR class, and I think I also, yeah, I paid for my drug uh, sample, my drugs test, whatever, and just all of those things that you need to get done before you start your program. Okay, the second thing I wish I knew before starting my nursing program was time and how I'm going to have none. I, I would say I'm pretty good at time management for me to have YouTube, hair business, a life, you know, friends, and time to study, but I'm already realizing that at least four hours a day I'm going to have to set aside just for school. And me personally, I am not someone that overstudies. I try to cut a time limit for when I um, finish my studying. So if it's 12 a.m. in the morning, I'm done. Like I'm not going to continue studying, cramming. I'm just going to sleep, get my rest, and then continue the next day if I need to study more. So that is one thing that you need to be mindful of with nursing is that there's going to be at least one class that you're gonna have to study crazy for. Um, thus far, in terms of like um, the classes that I have now, I have health assessment, um, farm oncology. Sorry, I just wanted to clarify, I am taking patho farm oncology, not pharmacology. Uh, there's not really a difference. I just wanted to say specifically what my program is titling that course, but we are learning about basically um, pharmaceuticals and just the study of drugs and medication. And a whole bunch of like clinical classes. The clinical classes I see are not going to be a big issue um, in terms of like washing hands and just how to set up a bed, just different things in the hospital. However, there is one class and I'm probably gonna make videos about it. There's one class that I know is going to trip me up and that is pharma oncology. So, <laughs> If you know anything about that, just know, just know that is the one class I'm going to be studying crazy for. Um, but a lot of the classes that involve nursing involve critical thinking and being a critical thinker. So if you're someone that thinks critically, you'll be okay. So uh, for this tip, I would just say make sure that you're practicing different techniques to manage your time and to use your time efficiently because you do not want to be studying the wrong way for a class that you really need. So if you're someone that's an auditory learner, make sure that you're listening to your lectures or listening to um, different recordings so you understand the material. If you're a visual learner, make sure that you have a visual associated with a word or a visual associated with um, whatever. And same if you're, um, I forget the other way people learn. I think it's uh, through speech or um, like a tactile hands-on learner. Just figure out what your learning style is and that'll make it more efficient when you do decide to study. So that is what I gotta say for time management. So the third thing I wish I knew before starting my nursing program was to seriously prepare for the summer and to get mentally prepared for what I have to do uh, the summer before I start my program. So what I mean by that, and I touched on it already, making sure that I have my CPR certification on time, make sure that I took my drug test on time, make sure that I have my nursing insurance on time you want to make sure that you do those things as fast as you can and some of those things i did wait a while to do which i probably shouldn't have but like my school we do things through castle branch i'm not sure what other schools do but it's just a way to kind of keep track of everything that you have so your immunizations if you need to get a shot make sure you get a, your your um, titers as soon as possible you know your mmr um, I believe if you need your chicken pox, uh, chicken pox booster, make sure you get all of those things done on time because the summer is when you're running around, not even for books, you're running around. So when it's time for clinicals, they don't stop you and say, oh, sorry, you can't do your clinicals because you don't have this, that, and the third done. Okay. Before you walk into your clinicals, you need to know how to perform CPR. You need to, you need to know how to use, um, AED. Okay. So those things are very very important to get done during the summer it's not you know hot girl summer all the way but you can still have your fun summer while also getting those tasks done on your list so make sure that you are doing that okay and not waiting last minute to get these things done 
so you're not the one person in class that says, uh, I didn't know we needed our CPR. They're gonna look at you crazy, all right? So make sure that you're getting those tasks done. I'm actually going to pull up the things that I had to get done before my program started. So let me just pull that up for you. So I'm just going to give you an idea of what I had to do during the summer so you guys know what may be coming in your future once you join you know, the little nursing league and the nursing program. Uh, okay, so I had to do a criminal background check. All right, urine, drug screen, the health requirements, making sure that they know I have health insurance, you know, my CPR certification through Red Cross, okay, very specific. And then I also had to do competency training modules and I also had to do a health examination form and also submit my physical uh, my results for my physical so just that's some of the things that I had to do um, I also had to get malpractice insurance what I was talking about before um, I believe there's NSO that's what I did it's only like $40 a year so if you are trying to look for some uh, nursing insurance use that insurance and just a whole bunch of things um, related to mainly when my clinicals start. So that is something that would make sure that you address, okay, as soon as possible. As soon as you know what you have to do during the summer, get it done, get it out the way so you're not scrambling around two weeks before you start your classes and you know there's no more CPR classes or no one's doing drug tests or you can't get a drug test until later on. So make sure that you're doing those things as soon as possible. The fourth thing I wish I knew before I started nursing school was how overwhelmed I would be. I'm not gonna lie. I've had like maybe three breakdowns. <laughs> maybe three breakdowns. I'm just little ones, just tiny ones. Mainly because my shipping all of a sudden doesn't want to let me know when things come so a lot of my books and my online software has been coming a little late you know teachers are just talking and 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 it just feels like your brain is about to explode it's not gonna explode i'm still here so one thing that you're gonna constantly feel at least in the first semester is just a feeling of being overwhelmed and it's okay it's okay and that's why you have God <laughs> and that's why you have your mother <laughs> and that's why you have your friends so if you are feeling overwhelmed make sure that you're taking time for yourself again time management to do some self-care take a nap breathe go on a walk go for a drive eat get a bag of chips of torpedoes so it's always there. This has been getting me through my pain. With some queso? Y'all yeah, don't know about that. Y'all yeah, don't know about that. Y'all yeah, don't know about that. But make sure that you are putting time aside for some self-care because you're going to get overwhelmed sometimes. It's gonna feel like you honestly are not smart at all and you're just like, why am I here? Oh my God, I can't do this. You can do this. You got through the hardest part already. You passed your prereqs. You passed A and P. A and P. One and two. You deserve your spot. So anytime you feel discouraged or you feel like the world is coming to an end or you're not gonna be a great nurse, just know, just know, not everyone gets to this point. Not everyone, I almost did not pass A and P one. A and P one. And I'm here. And you're here. So just make sure that you are mentally prepared to be overwhelmed in this program. It is okay, guys. It is 100% okay, just as long as you take care of yourself on the side as well. And the very last thing that I wish I knew before starting my nursing school program was to make nursing buddies and nursing friends, all right? And I came into it, none of my friends got in or at least none of my friends applied for this semester. So I just kind of came into it like, hey, I know no one. <laughs> so it was a little intimidating. However, within the first one to two weeks, 
we made a group chat and we started talking because one half of us did not have the material two most of us were overwhelmed and three you know it's covid so none of us can see each other so we were just trying to get to know and connect that way so especially during these times if covid is still going on make sure that you're creating group chats and taking the initiative because i honestly did not take the initiative it was another girl in my class but you know just take the initiative to make those group chats bring people together because y'all need each other to pass i'm not saying to get an a but to at least pass your classes having a diverse opinion around you or different types of people with different types of perspectives are going to challenge you and help you as a nurse especially when you go into the field so you want to have diverse opinions surrounding you in your circle and you know make some friends you know, make some nursing buddies make some nursing friends because you never know they might work in the same hospital as you once you guys you know pass your NCLEX and you go off into the working field you might be in the same hospital so you never know so when it comes to this tip again just make sure that you are making good honest and genuine friendships in nursing school it's literally a hub of like a handful of girls um, and guys as well I saw them too but we all kind of know each other's faces at least after this week I'm kind of familiar with most of the people's names now I think there's about 50 to 60 of us that are in the nursing program for this semester so yeah I'm not sure how other schools do it and how big their programs are but just try to find at least five people that you can go to for questions um, if you want to make a study group, just things like that. And hop on that soon because those exams are coming. <laughs> They're coming in hot and heavy. So those are all of the tips that I would give. Um, again, if you do want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to know where I got my stethoscope, I got it from Amazon. This is from uh, Litman, their Classic 3. It is in the color lavender because... You know youtube my youtube lavender you know i like lavender um if you do want to know about this hair this is the ali pro wig that i have reviewed already i'm going to link it up there and in my bio but yes come back again after you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye